Hey guys, it's your girl Risa at the farmer's market today. Trying to find G. We got a lot of good stuff, y'all. Let's look. What you see? There he is. Look at the okra. And the jalapenos. Look at all the mushrooms. Yeah. Garlic. Brussels sprouts. Radishes. They're not big. Okay. Wait a minute. Just take a look around. They got ginger. Just stuff everywhere, y'all. Ooh, look at it. Look at the eggplant. All kind of peppers. Cucumbers. I be staying looking down on the ground, make sure ain't nothing crawling. Look at these big carrots. Look at the peppers, y'all. Yeah. We came to get cabbage today. And we're trying to find something that has the green still attached. This is the second booth. Pecans. Mater. Ooh, I smell a good mango. Lord. Coconut. That's what you want. Okay. Got to be more careful. That's a baby. <laughs> uh -huh. Let me grab these two, yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. You see no mangoes over next door there? Yeah. Right, they right here. It's smelling good. You got a bag or something? Tell her you want them too. More ginger. They don't have all the green attached, but they huge. Look at the cucumber. A dollar a piece. Nice, these are two for a dollar. Well, they got some zucchini here. Mm. I think I got one. Mm -hmm. This is where we are. Blueberries, blackberries, plums, grapes. Strawberries. All right, big tower. Okay. Huh? Mm -hmm. You wanna go ahead and put them in the car? What you want to get some mangoes? So we sitting in the car for a minute because we're trying to decide on <laughs> if we gonna get anything else. <laughs> we got the it worked it, boy. Uh, mangoes smell so That's good. That's a good deal. You see how big those cabbages were? It was three dollars. One. I gotta do is take them home, take that top layer off, clean them good, chop it up. Mm. Yeah, that's right. Which is what we plan to do. Yeah. Anything else you want? Yeah. And it's and we came and sat down because we're right yeah. in front of the, the what you want to call it? The market. The market. Because it's raining. Yeah, it's 82 to 84 degrees here. Getting ready to rain. But... Yeah. Yeah, but that humidity, boy. It's ridiculous. Well, they got sugar cane. Can y'all see the sugar cane right there? Well, hand go right there. Sugar cane. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Um, see, I can't, I don't have a whole lot of room in the fridge 
for a lot of fruits and vegetables right now because mm -hmm. we loaded up. Yeah. But I feel like I can't leave. <laughs> yeah. You ever feel like that? Like you just can't leave something? Because the price is for one and then, you know, they're fresh. Mm -hmm. Fresh from the farm, so if everything got that color on it, the right color, <sighs> yeah, don't look like it's been saved overnight or, or refrigerated. I wonder Ooh, how wee. they put all this stuff out here like this every day. They must start out first thing in the morning, because that's a lot yeah. of stuff. They be here seven in the morning, six or seven. You know, farmers, they be, they be getting it. I mean, they got truckloads of yeah, stuff. That's goodness. I'm going to turn the camera around. Y'all can see this is one place right here we got the cabbage from that one over oh, there yeah, yeah. this Behind is another us one is some more people yeah more areas. it's some more areas All the way over down. there it's a little fish market right we there were, i was crab cakes and stuff. think about trying one of the crab cakes i don't know <laughs> they got oh. salty oysters fresh salty oysters oh, <laughs> oysters <laughs> Smoked salmon, large scallops. Ooh, we love scallops, but you can't have them. Mm. Yeah, I Child, if he get a little tiny one, he mm, do dealer. That tore off the chain. Yes, sir. He had it. He can't have none of that. Mm. Mm. What you want to do? You want to wait on the mangoes? Yeah, yeah we both, can always come back. We're dealing with cards, and we, I don't want to go to no ATM over here. Yeah, because they only take cash. I didn't bring enough cash with me to buy a whole lot. And I actually don't have any room for it. I don't want to overdo it. And then we got to try to hurry up and use it. Yeah, because right, those mangoes got to go in the refrigerator because they are ripe, right? All right, so we off the premium now. Yeah. So I guess, baby, you will take them up in there? We're going to go take them We're going to get some Arizona drinks from <laughs> Premier. Show now, you how they, they little meat kind of look. Where we are right now. Yeah. Right next door, y'all see, uh oh, y'all can't see it that way. There's a brown building right there, tan color building. That used to be an old premier. Yeah, it's good. Okay. It used to be as large as a Walmart. Okay. Or maybe a little smaller. No, just a little smaller, but it was close. Maybe about the size of a family dollar. No, it was way bigger than Bigger than family dollar? Yeah, you was close to Or maybe a Walmart marketplace. There you go. There you go. The Walmart marketplace. There it is. And Premium. this farmer's market has been here since I was a little girl and before, okay? Yeah, yeah. Mama. it's just the, the shape of it has changed. They've added a lot of different things and um, taken away a lot. They don't have as many vendors right now, but like during the holidays, starting Thanksgiving, people start pouring in. We don't know what it's gonna be like because of the pandemic, it hasn't been a lot of people coming out. They'll be back there. Um, well, in a week, they'll start flocking back. They, the, the farmers will start coming back in in a week because Excuse of me. Easter. No, okay. they're going oh, to yeah, bring right. truckloads of all kinds of greens and um, all kinds of meats. They have their refrigerators outside. Yes, they do. Ooh. Yeah, so they're going to no, they'll load up and they'll, they'll shut back. They'll shut down to what it is now um, going into the summer. And then um, they pick back up strong hitting in September and stuff like that. So, yeah. Um, but you know what I noticed? The okay. lady that cut the collard greens up, she not there. Yeah, I think she only been, come on the weekends. Could be. It's a lot of them come on. Yeah. They vend the different vendors. You have a lot. It's, it's a few ladies um, or vendors that sell greens, but they also cut them up for you. And you have to pre-order them. Pre-pay and pre-order. That way, when you come to pick up your greens, they already cut up and washed. Um, Zippo's yeah, so still there on the Zippo's Crab House still there. Zippo's been there about 30 years. So, over here is, this is the old neighborhood. Yeah, my granddaddy used to stay over there. G granddaddy used to stay my dad, over that way. My grandmother, my father's mother. Yeah. So, I tell you. Old stomach ground over here to the left. Boy, this is what oh. we <laughs> Hollybrook. Oh, if y'all know anything about Hollybrook Apartments, yeah, but... baby. <laughs> I lived over that there. That was boy. the ghetto. Yes, Do you sir. hear me? Yeah. But it wasn't worse than downtown, the Blodgett homes Blodgett and stuff homes. like that. I you see those apartments the over there? And uh, Hollybrook. Yep. 
Yep, over there, y'all. Across the track. Across the track, <laughs> Holly Brook. I lived there from 81 to late 84. 84, uh, no, early 85, we moved. Like four years, but Holly Brook, I mean, uh, the Blodgett Homes. Yeah, I might have been born in Blodgett Homes. But I left when, let me see. I know my kid, I was, I was 81. 81, we left. Went to the east side for like a, about six, seven months. That's when we moved to Hollywood. I done um, been all around Jacksonville and all the hard, dirty parts. The thing about it is, not only do I have a lot of my there. family lived in Hollywood. Yeah. Okay. That's right. A lot of my family I lived was in to run into Teresa. But I'm glad day. we didn't because baby would have been no house. Yeah, I got it a uptown no... girl. She was raised in the home. Yeah. He was, it would have been no house. <laughs> Do you hear me? <laughs> um, she said she wouldn't have been no house. No, it would have been no house. Yeah, you would have still liked me when you saw no, me. Man, come no, on, no, 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 no. Oh, you hear y'all? I mm -mm. <laughs> mm -mm. Whatever. Y'all, y'all don't know. I was, mm -mm, I was not sociable back so, then. So, okay. Wait a minute. So what you said? I wouldn't have even looked you in the face, Galen. <laughs> that's how. That's how I would know. Oh, I was yeah. so scared of what I consider to be thugs. Oh, okay. No, yeah. I didn't like people that talk loud and. Yeah. You know, rambunctious. I, mm -mm. <laughs> so you said I talk loud and rambunctious. I used to so yeah, a lot more. You, but see, yeah. I still do it from time to time, but yeah. I used to talk I'm talking best. about me back then. Uh. Okay, like <laughs> the cockiness G got. Mm -mm, no, sir. I would have been timid. I would have been intimidated for real. Look, man. I wouldn't have talked nice to you. I would have been, you know, especially if I saw you. Yeah. I caught you when you, I seen you for the first time when you were 14. And you, you know what I'm saying? You were doing it then. You had a little shape and stuff. Before I was 14, there would have been no half though, dog. It was just I mean, something about really... people from those apartments. Hollybrook, Eastside, um, what was it? Durkinville. Yeah. I ain't Flag never lived Street. in Or Flag Street. Um, so I used to hang out there. What that other school was over there for 45th? Um, oh, shoot. I just was scared of people. And people 45, you might well say 45 of my creeds. I was over there. Um, Lackawanna. <laughs> I hung out in Lackawanna for a while. I lived in Lackawanna. My yeah. daddy lived I in Lackawanna. I knew all her family members. The Douglases, the Schumans, uh, Holbanks. My the daddy Moors. literally lived two blocks from Lackawanna Park. And we used to go there all the time. And me and Galen used to talk about, you know, back in the day. And I'd be talking about how I used to be. I was a, for a little short time, I was a. What they call it? I can't remember what they call it. The little cheerleaders for Cuckoo Park. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. I was I, I was out there too. Park. It's Cougar Park, right? She said she was at Cougar Park the years yeah. I was there. Cougar Park was big in the, in the uh, football PA where all the kids Jacksonville most of, most especially especially you know the black kids black communities. That's where they met up at Cougar Park, especially on Saturday. Cougar Park used to win all the time, championships, you know, PAL. And um, they had a, a, the a, older cheerleader squad and then a the little shorties. I was a little shorty. My brother, my cousin, Rock, Duke, Duke, all of all them used to play the football while I was on the sideline checking out because I was the youngest. And and I was looking at the cheerleaders and, and watching them play them back and forth. So she was over there, I didn't know who she was, mm -mm. but yeah. See, I wasn't, I, I didn't have hips and all that back then. I was straight up and down. Well, it's all right too, baby. And, um, <laughs> if you, see, you know, you even when, my, even it's when good we though. were in middle school, it was good that we didn't actually meet Exactly, up. Yeah. yeah. You did, you went through her little, little thing, little growing up, you know, had a little, little boyfriends and stuff before me. Get that stuff up out your system. Yeah. Okay. Get rid of them zeros. Now you got your hero. <laughs> he pulled the oldie out. Uh, oh, That's a, anyway, we get ready to walk up in here, fam. Homeboy said, "Get rid of the zeros." Yeah. Okay. They ain't been no time with you, did? Okay. Okay. No. It is. <laughs> they want to keep it. They just want to holler. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this dude here. What we gonna do with him, y'all? Dropping that big. Come on, y'all. Give me a meat. Huh? 
the umbrella. It's, it's in, in the back seat. cold in here. Okay, I'm gonna have to fast forward this part they got. It's a little bit of meat place. They're the cabbage with the greens on it right there. Yeah. Yeah, that ain't gonna work. Yeah. see the rain on the window. The streets are sopping wet. So of course we're not in any hurry to speed or nothing like that because people don't know how to drive when it's raining. Yeah, lead foot. That was for me to hit. Yep, lead foot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Side seat drivers. Yep. They're everywhere. Yep. I got eyes in the front, backing on the side. <laughs> and I, I look, I sit over here like I got a gas pedal and a brake. I be hitting the floor. Be Y'all had the same problem too, fellas, with your mate. She be say sitting when you driving. She stopping. Ooh, ooh. They be going. Cause get him wait till he get on the tail of a there car and want to slow down. I'm like, wait, dude. Um. There we go. <laughs> 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 
age, but you, you know. Hey, slow down. Damn. They don't know what they want to do, and that's an old man. Yeah, for the he most part, she be everybody. right though, fam. Mm. And he stopped right there to turn in. Yeah, the I just move. realized I'm missing two earrings. All right, time okay. to get back on that side. Okay, okay, mm. okay. Yeah, I got three over here and one on this side. Oh, it ain't hard quick. It sure did, and we didn't hear none of it in there. Mm -mm. They had the radio on for one. It was jamming. Baby, let me take. Well, of course, when you go eat out, you don't know what people are doing to your food. But mm -hmm. ain't no way I'm going to stand there and watch you dig your hands in something and put my food in my plate with your fingers, your raw fingers, not mm. fingers, fingers. Mm. That's what the girl was ordering something and he put them in a, whatever it was in an air fryer. What, what, what's that? What, what is this? You had walked over to the, um, get the basket. All right. And I look, I said, is he putting no gloves at all? I was like, see. his fingers with? He was handling her food with his raw fingers. Oh, oh no. He was like, whatever yeah. he was getting ready to fry, he was putting it in the air fryer, didn't have on any gloves. Oh, okay. Oh, no. no. I'm skilling. I was like, Ooh. Unless I'm making my own, own family food. And sometimes that's I different. still put on, that's different. Sometimes that's I still with put on us, gloves. You know, but sure. people, you don't know what yeah, they, yeah, yeah, you yeah. know, like, got, and it's true. Even when I go out to eat, I don't know what's behind the scenes. But I can't watch you do that now. Look, i never forget. One time, me and Sharon went on lunch break. We were working, um, and we was on our lunch break. And we went to <laughs> Subway. And the lady um, was fixing my cousin's sandwich. And she squeezed the mayonnaise out, but it dropped on the, the counter, the counter, the little ledge where you sit the sandwich at, that woman scraped that mayonnaise up with her finger and wiped it on her bread. Baby. Boy, I would have been across the counter. I said, ooh. Oh, Gaylin would have now, been across the counter. My, uh, my cousin is, well, she is nice, nasty, and picky. She was like, oh, uh, and she, <laughs> she said, oh, uh, and put her hands on her hips, and she looked up at that lady like that. She said, um, who, who sandwich is that? Cause you not, that's not mine. She was like, yes, it's she said, no, it's not. And you don't wipe that off the counter and wipe it on my sandwich. No, ma'am, you better get that to somebody else. You know what going to eat She that. said, well, the counter clean. She said, I didn't see you wipe it off and I don't care. You don't drop mayonnaise on the countertop and wipe it on my sandwich. <laughs> what if that rag you got in our clip? Baby, she gave her the business. Still, I was next in line and there was a man behind me. He said, ma'am, I'll take it. I said, good for you. Cause it, mm -mm, no sir. But you, uh, I don't know. Maybe I'm a little picky. I don't know. Now yeah, for picky. me, it's yeah, especially in a place like that and you got a lot of people coming in and out. Yeah. People sneezing and germs flying everywhere. You don't do that. That's bad as that night when uh, Renee was living and me, her, and Tammy, and Sharon went to Applebee's to eat. Mm -hmm. And she ordered a, she ordered a, um, a mixed drink. Mm -hmm. What that thing is? Whatever, I can't remember the name of the drink. It wasn't a strawberry daiquiri. Um, name another one. A margarita. I don't know, I don't know, she, she ordered a margarita. To drink shots. Yes, I do. I watched the video last night of old dude. We were out for my birthday. He had I don't know how many shots of Grey Goose, and he was drinking it oh, like it wasn't nothing. Was it twenty eighteen? Mm-hmm. Something like that. But anyway, so she called the the waitress over. She was like, "This is not what I ordered." Mm. She said, "Yes, it is." She said, "No, it's not. I know what a margarita tastes like, and that's not a margarita." Tell me why the waitress took her drink just like this after she done sucked on the straw and did like this. She said, oh yeah, that's a margarita and gave it back to her. Are you ill? Are you, wait, are you smoking dope and dog food? Like, are you high on gas and kerosene? 
who drinks out of somebody's drink and get, give it back to them? <laughs> Without getting swung on and fired. Renee say, <laughs> did you just drink out my straw and get it back? She said, oh, but she gave her a few choice words. She wasn't ignorant, but she was like, uh-uh, you might well go and get me a fresh drink. She said, as a matter of fact, never mind. I don't want another because I don't need you to spit in my drink when you bring it back to me. Like some people just don't. How? Renee sitting there, she takes, she say, this is not a margarita. And they say, yes, it is. She set it down. She said, I know what a margarita tastes like, and that's not a margarita. The lady picked her drink up, same straw. <laughs> hey, <laughs> same straw. And oh, wait a minute, I missed the piece. She say, she suck at it. She say, yes it is. She say, no it ain't. And she, Renee sitting there, she say, no it ain't. And you just drunk out of that? <laughs> she called her daughter over, which was the bartender. And told her, she said this, she said this not a margarita. And she drunk out the same straw. I said, see, people ain't right. No ma'am, no ham, no turkey, no Thanksgiving. It ain't, it ain't happening. I can't. They give you the heebie jeebies. Yeah. <laughs> I said, oh my gosh, we laughed so hard off of that. I was grossed out for the rest of the night. I was like, if I get a drink, I'm just going to tell them, give me my money back. Because ain't no telling what's going to happen at that point. Mm -mm. Can you imagine somebody you don't know suck out your straw and give it back to you? No, you don't know where me. they mouth been at. Everybody. <laughs> okay. I'm talking to everybody. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know where they mouth been at. You don't know how many rock yeah, teeth they got in their mouth. You, you know, I was uh, silly, didn't I? I was, I was, no. You don't know what kind of situation know. going on in they throat. Like, they told you know, to be back cold. then, every club, every, every place where I went at, I had a gang of dudes, remember, the uh, Skyline? They go, Keita, Keita, what's up? I had a gang of dudes in the <laughs> Teresa went on. <laughs> but they was already there. Everywhere I went at, I had backup, put it that way. That's what I'm saying. And I couldn't see nobody drinking out of something. Yeah, either. man. Like, what if one of your homeboys said, man, give me a sip down, of that beer? You ain't going to get here and let him drink out your beer? No, no. What's wrong with you? Dude's freaks. Sheesh. Look at that car. Dang, and it's face. down in the swamp. If it <laughs> let it rain a few more times, it's gonna be underwater. Okay, underwater. We're gonna go to Win and Dixie, right? Look at this. He, 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 did. he made it. <laughs> okay, we in the him. wrong lane. My lane. nerves ain't with this here. These big dump Relax. trucks on the side of them. Is the bridge collapsing? What that look like? I know they probably get ready to do something like that. I'm gonna tell them. We're here for so. We'll be back.